This is a demonstration of System S, IBM's high-performance scalable stream processing infrastructure, and Mario, a novel automated application composition framework. This demonstration shows how end users, and in this case energy traders and analysts, can submit very high-level information processing goals or queries and get back relevant results. The high-level goals are sent to Mario, which automatically constructs a data flow consisting of one or more data sources and processing elements. This data flow is deployed on a back-end runtime infrastructure, namely System S, and the results that are generated are then streamed back to the user interface. In addition, we use another IBM framework called Project Zero, which allows the generation of mashups and deployment of REST-based services. End users can construct goals or queries by simply selecting one or more tags from a tag cloud. In this example, they can make queries in three different domains, weather-based queries, energy-based queries, and trade-based queries. End users can create these queries by simply selecting one or more tags from a tag cloud. This tag cloud is broken up into a number of different facets. Some of the facets available in the weather category are forecast metrics, geopolitical regions, electricity relevant regions, analyses, and so on. Let's create a query by picking a few tags. Let's say that the energy trader wants to calculate the temperature and heat index forecast for the next week or so. That in this case, he selects a couple of tags, temperature and heat index, and immediately the system comes back with first an English language description of his current query just to give him feedback on what the current query is about. In this case, it says determine dew point, heat index, relative humidity, and temperature forecast data for any region using the most recent forecast period from NOAA. In addition, it constructs a data flow consisting of one upon data sources and processing elements automatically. And this is the real innovation in the system. In this case, this flow takes data about the locations of different weather stations, takes data about the forecast from one weather forecast model called Ensemble P17, and joins those two pieces of information, calculates the humidity and heat index, and finally produces uh, data that can be visualized on a map. Let's now select a few more tags just to make the query a bit more interesting. Let's say that the energy data not just wants to calculate the uh, heat index and temperature from one forecast model, but he wants to get a weighted average of the heat index and temperature from a large number of weather forecast models. So let's say that he selects a couple of extra tags, uh, the weighted average and the all weather forecast models tags. Notice that in this case a new flow is automatically generated and in this, the, in this case a new flow has over 150 different components. These, th this flow actually uh, performs processing on 23 different weather forecast models and finally does a weighted average over all of them and then displays the results on a map. If I click the Summit Inquiry button over here, it would deploy this whole flow on System S and results would first be, uh, the data would first be fetched from NOAA, which is the US's uh, the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Association and the processing will be performed and results will be generated. I had submitted a, a similar inquiry earlier and the results look like this. In this case, uh, it, it just shows the temperature, heat index, humidity and dew point averages over the next week over the entire US. Let's now create a different inquiry that showcases a different facet of the system, namely processing of more real-time or changing data. Let's say that there's a hurricane approaching the US. The trader wants to calculate the supply from each state that's going to be impacted as a result of the hurricane. In this case, he goes to the trade tab and picks one of the fundamental indicators in the oil category, namely the hurricane impact on states, and submits that particular inquiry on the backend. In this case, the, there's one parameter that he has to fill in, which is the uncertainty in the prediction of hurricane's path. Uh, I'm, going to, I'm going to leave it as a default value point too. Uh, let's take a look at the flow that's generated in this case and deployed. In this example, 
the hurricane uh, data is first fetched from NOAA, is passed and it's analyzed uh, to calculate the impact on different states. The results have just come back and in this case it's showing that the hurricane is somewhere in the Atlantic which is going to hit Puerto Rico with an impact of 0 0.98 and that's because it's really passing very close to Puerto Rico. As the hurricane keeps moving, different states will get impacted and uh, this is a way in which the trader can keep a tap on the progress of the hurricane and uh, how uh, the impact of different states might change when the path of the hurricane changes. This is an example where the hurricane data it's changing dynamically. Uh, in this case, we simulate the change in the hurricane path. So just now the hurricane has, has progressed a bit further and the impact on Florida is there as well now with a slower risk because it doesn't seem to be hitting Florida dead on. That concludes uh, this demo. Thank you.